Hey there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. So this is my wax collection. I've been going through some vendors now, started with Rose Girls, then I did Sassy Girl Aroma, now we're doing Lavender and Speckles, uh, and Beth is the owner of Lavender and Speckles, and I've been buying from Beth since December of 2022. I fell in love with her pine cone scents, and you will probably see some that sound like they're dupes, but they're probably just like a a pine cone blend. I do have a couple of dupes, but for the most part, and with pretty much all the vendors I have, I just hold on to like one bag. And then when I run out, I hope to see it back and then I'll get another. Um, and so I have 63 bags of lavender and speckles. Right now I have it pretty much contained within a, like an Ikea, is it the Alexa, Alexis, Alexa? I don't, I forget now, um, drawer and then a box, you know, from like in the post office box, like a medium sized box. Um, so it's fairly organized, um, but still more than I would like to have, which is why I have not been buying any from her pre-orders. And I've actually tried not to look because I'll get tempted to buy because she's got some great blends and samplers and all kinds of stuff she's offering. Um, but for right now, I'm going to try to enjoy what I have. So let's go. Let's get started. I'm going to start with um, a bag here or two bags, actually, because it's a they're dupes. I have two of them. Um, pine cones and beach nights. This is roasted pine cones, vanilla birch and beach nights. I love her pine cones. Uh, and that is just I'm not I'm going to smell it. Oh, I didn't get I know she's done like a sampler. It might have been in January. And because I have a lot, I just I didn't do it but she is offering pre-orders every month now. So that's exciting. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm going to enjoy what I have. So, uh, I do have a lot of the pine cone scent. Then I have boom, boom. This is coconut cream, pistachio, tonka, vanilla, sandalwood. This is from March of last year. So definitely I'm going to want to warm this as the weather gets a little bit warmer, uh, cause it's coming up on a year now. This is Tiffany's Palo Santo and coffee house. This is also from March of last year. This is cupcakes at Tiffany's and Palo Santo and the best coffee scent ever. Now, back a year ago, I didn't really know that I didn't care for cupcakes at Tiffany's. So I'm going to smell this one really quick and see what I think. No, this is great. This, I get a lot of coffee. It's a very strong coffee and she does have a strong coffee. If you like strong coffee, I find her coffee to be really strong. And I'm just getting, I'm getting yummy coffee in this with some Palo Santo and like a cupcake, but I'm not getting that chocolate toffee note that smells funky to me from, from cupcake, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Uh, so that one is pretty good. Nice, strong coffee. And I do have a lot of her coffee scents because I enjoy it. Uh, Friday night dinners. Got my glasses ready. This is sweet cranberry marmalade blended with honey, cornbread, and topped off with French bourbon. Friday night dinners. This was from her Gilmore collection restock. This one I think was, I'm going to smell it. Sorry. I have to know. Okay. This one smells good. There was one in here that I thought was, and I thought it was this one with the marmalade with the cranberry marmalade or since this is from June of last year or it's blended better than I remember, but that's actually quite nice. So I do like that one, but I do remember getting one that I was like, yeah, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's not this one. Okay. Then we have Cozy Barbershop. This is from August of 23. Barbershop and Marshmallow Fireside, so good. So that one, I think I've warmed one. There's usually six, six in the bag. I guess I warmed one. Jumbo Coffee Morning. This is uh, from June of 
It looks like it says June 10th. This is coffee house and whipped coconut cake. And this is, came from Christine. I believe this was from Christine from Christine Sensing. She doesn't care for coffee. She knows that I like coffee. I think she was giving it a try. And so she sent it to me in friend mail. I will happily take anyone's coffee sense. <laughs> All right, this one is whiskey sweet. This is golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries. This is from August of last year as well. Now this one, I remember being on a low buy at this time, really in August, but I guess when I ordered this, this is when it arrived, right? August is when it arrived. So it was probably like July. Um, and I was like on a no buy before the, before the pre-order Paloozas were coming. But this, when I saw that she had whiskey sweet on here, I'm like, I have to, I have to place an order. And that is why I'm trying to mute Facebook pages and stuff because inevitably there'll be one cent where I'm like, oh, I have to have that. Uh, and then, you know, of course you're not gonna buy one bag. You're gonna buy a couple of other things. So this one was a gotcha. Um, but this one, I love sweet whiskey from Bath and Body Works and so, I love that kind of scent. And there it is. Okay, strawberry pound, pound cake and Palo. I really love Beth's Palo as well. So not just her pine cones, but her Palo Santo. And this is, um, yeah, there's no other notes. <laughs> strawberry pound cake and Palo. I can definitely read that. Uh, this is November of last year. So this is a recent pour. Now, let me smell this one because I'm picky with strawberry and I can't remember what I thought of this one because she has both. I've had some blends where it was a fresh pick strawberry and I didn't like it as much, but this is the strawberry I like. It's more of a creamier kind of bakery, maybe I guess you could say artificial strawberry, but not artificial like candy, more like a strawberries and cream kind of strawberry. That's a good one. I get a lot of Apollo from that, so I love it. And let's see, Yale versus Harvard. This is from the Gilmore Girls Collection. I got this in November. And this is Cracklin' Birch, Sweater Weather, Fresh Cut Grass, and Peppermint. I uh, This was a wild card for me because, you know, I don't typically, I typically buy coffee from her. I kind of, you'll see, you'll see a trend here, <laughs> buttercream bakery scents, but this one was, it had fresh cut grass and some other things. I really remember liking this on Cold Sniff. It's, it's good. And that peppermint in there is giving this coolness. It's like a cool, cold winter day as you're walking across the lawn, like back in your college days. Uh, so that is good, but I am getting more and more of peppermint than I remember. Um, as this has been curing, but I still get some of that fresh cut grass, which is really nice. So I'm glad I got this one just because something a little different in my collection. And this is from last year, uh, November of 23. Then I have Cracklin Birch and Buttercream. This is also from my order back in November. And this is just Cracklin Birch and, Cracklin Birch and Vanilla Buttercream. I've used half this bag. I probably should just finish it, right? I got three in here, um, but really liked her Cracklin Birch. Love this. I wore this in the bedroom and it performed really well for me. Overall, I think with my experience with lavender and speckles is just know what room to warm certain things in. I think some are just fantastic in the bedroom and they perform really well in the bedroom. And then some, uh, some of those, what I'll call bedroom scents may not be as strong in my open space. I can still smell them, but they're better suited for like medium to smaller rooms. And then I have scents like with coffee that I'll just like blow doors. So it's, it's kind of with any vendor, I think you're figuring out what works best in your home, your warmers and all of that. And so there is a little bit of experiment, experimenting that goes on. This is from I, from the lavender from sorry Gilmore Girls collection. I smell snow. I got this in November, and I know the lights are actually very bright in here because it's nighttime. 
This is sweet mint, creamy vanilla, maple syrup, bourbon, and a hint of roasted pine cones. It's been a while since I've smelled a lot of these, so I'm sorry. I'm going to do it. Um, mm, that's a good one, too. Nice and minty, but it's like a sweet mint, and I guess it's the the maple syrup that's also adding the sweetness to it, but it's a nice sweet mint, so not your typical peppermint. That's a good one. I like that one. Okay, this is from August of last year. Vanilla Sandalwood and Beach Nights. I have a lot of her Beach Nights, another great one. And I'm trying not to make these long and smell everything, so I'm not, uh, but yeah, I've not warmed, I've not warmed, most of these I've not warmed at all. I'm looking at them and they're like the full six little bunts. You know, I call them buns, but some of them are stars and flowers and rosebuds. Uh, Calm Beach Nights. This is a blend of Calm and Wild, which I have smelled as a sample, and I really like Calm and Wild. And Calm and Wild is Sweet Lavender and Icy Vanilla Woods, and then Beach Nights. I do also like her blends with Icy Vanilla Woods. Uh, so this is this was like a no-brainer for me to grab, but haven't warmed it. Here's a large bag of Palo and tons of vanilla. I got this in November. Palo Santo and tons of vanilla bakery. It's vanilla crunch cake, vanilla buttercream, and a hint of cinnamon spiced vanilla. This is a nice vanilla scent with a touch of Palo. Yeah. It's just all kinds of yummy vanilla. Oh, that's good. That's so good. I may have to do a month where I'm just warming a vendor. I know April Lee Wax Queen on here did, or she started a tag in February. February, yeah, this month. Well, when you watch this, it could be March. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video. It's currently February, uh, but she did one like that to get through some of her vendor wax. She, the first one she did was Second and Spruce. I didn't, I had a lot of fall Second and Spruce, so I didn't participate, but I might, she ever gets to lavender and speckles. I might need to do that. Um, Breakfast at the Dragonfly. This is Coffee House and Speckles birthday cake. And I have this currently in my basket to warm and I haven't done it yet, but I've warmed some of it. I definitely have warmed some of it. And it's a really, again, really nice coffee blend. I do like her coffee. I'm gonna put that back in my February basket. Then I have Sookie and the Wedding Cakes. This I picked up in June of last year. This is rich, moist white cake with hints of silky white chocolate and sweet cream, frosted almond cookies, the richest buttercream, and bourbon-infused marshmallows. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, bourbon-infused marshmallows. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. So she brings, if she's doing a Gilmore collection, this is a good one. Sookie and the wedding cakes. That's yummy. Birchwood and buttercream. This is from November of last year. This is crisp birchwood pine blended with sweet decadent scent of buttercream. I did get another one that's Sounds very similar, but I think it was crackling birch, and this is birch wood. Um, so I really, I should do a lavender and speckles month. Okay, these, let me see here. Maybe they're not all, I see some dupes, but this particular one was gifted to me by Heather Riddle here in the wax community. She sent me a uh, friend mail, and this one was one of them. Peppermint Eggnog Espresso. So I had a recent video of this one and um, I can see if I can remember to put it up here if you missed it. This is a good one. I loved, I love eggnog. Sound like a broken record saying that, but this mix of the peppermint eggnog and the espresso is, it was great. So thank you. Thank you, Heather, for sending that to me. Candy Apple was another one that Heather sent to me. I love Bath and Body Works um, Candy Apple or Winter winter Candy Apple, right? Um, and that's what this one smells like. And so this is a good one. And uh, I won't read the notes. If you're familiar with that scent, you know what I'm talking about. This one here, Citrus Wreath was the 
another, see, this is where she got me again. Beth, you got me. <laughs> you got me with that whiskey scent and then you got me with this. I was gonna be good. I was gonna be good in November and then she offered a Christmas wreath and I'm like, I have to get this one. I have to. So I got two bags of Christmas wreath and I should date these before more time goes by. This is sparkling citrus with nuances of fresh pine and warm spices on a Christmas, I'm sorry, on a soothing mu musky background. I'm making up words as I'm reading now. This is a dupe for a winter citrus wreath from Bath and Body Works. I received a sample uh, of this in 2022 and I loved it. And so when I saw that she was bringing it back in 2023, I'm like, I have to get it because I, I used up the sample. And I love, I love citrus scents. And this is, it's so good, but I do love that Christmas citrus wreath scent. Um, and that's what this is. This is a great performer. I love it. So she made me buy, she made me buy some more. This one is vanilla sugar marshmallow fireside. This one is warm vanilla sugar, Palo Santo and marshmallow fireside. I love, marshmallow fireside a walk around the square this is from june of 23 this is from the gilmore girls restock this is espresso buttercream clove nutmeg pumpkin and iced vanilla cookies walk around the square mm. yeah i get a little bit of the espresso so it's not like her coffee but then I get a little bit of those iced almond cookies, tiny bit of pumpkin nutmeg. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. This is another favorite of mine, favorite, favorite, and I've repurchased this one. Uh, lilac, marshmallow, lilac and Marshmallow Fireside. It's fresh lilacs blended with sweet and smoky Marshmallow Fireside. I got this in August and I have to smell it. <laughs> I have to. Or maybe I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I can smell it after, um, but I love her lilacs. It's it's a beautiful floral, but it's a soft floral. It's not like a headache, really heady. It's floral, it's soft, it's a bit powdery. It's beautiful and with her marshmallow fireside. Yeah, that was a repeat buy when I saw that. Blackberries and peonies, this is Sweet Blackberries and Midnight Peony, Body Care Not Overly Floral. This is from August of last year. I don't remember what these smell like. So, gonna keep moving on. And they're in the crinkly package, which is why I'm less likely to sniff them. Uh, Take Me to the Beach, Salty Sea Air and Toasted Marshmallows from August of last year. Yeah, as I'm looking through my wax and I'm really enjoying doing this collection video or these the series because I'm going through, I'm gonna to touch all my wax. I'm gonna go through all of it and smell it and wanna warm stuff for like right away. Blackberry Marshmallow Beach Nights, Sweet Blackberries, Marshmallow Clouds, and Beach Nights. So that's another one, not the same, but similar. The other one is Blackberries and Peonies. This one is Luke's Diner Pie. This is blackberry, cherry merlot, spice cinnamon cake, whipped coconut cake, pie crust, and a hint of maraschino cherry. This is from June of last year. If I remember correctly, maybe this was the one that I was like, mm. I, th I think this was one of them, but I'm, but it's blending much better with the time that it's been sitting curing because I remember the black cherry Merlot sticking out a lot more and it just didn't feel like it was smooth, you know, and blended really well. But now, yeah, letting it sit sometimes, it's it's toned down. It's toned down and some of the other scents like the um, the black cherries coming out a little bit more, getting a little more cinnamon. Um, so yeah, there we go. Sometimes patience is good. Pop Tarts and Freedom. This is also from the Gilmore Girls collection. This was from June of last year. Strawberry pound cake blended with sweet strawberries, blackberries, cotton candy, and pie crust. Pop Tarts and Freedom. And I 
think I might have been gifted one of these as well, but this one I definitely bought. Um, it smells like pop. It smells like the inside of a pop tart, like a strawberry pop tart. Really, really good. But I haven't warmed it yet, so I, I'm excited to try that in the summer. Then I have a. This was sent to me probably from summer, uh, orange cotton candy cake. And so that's a sample that I got. Um, then I have a sample of Oceanside Laundry. Then I have a sample of Blazing Lemon. So my friend bought a bag of this, or I, I, I think I, I placed the order and she just wanted a bag of a couple things. And she said, I can have two because I really like this one. It's a strong lemon, but it's got this kind of a uh, wood burning smoke to it as well. So it's a little different and I've been meaning to warm this. I did have this in my basket for this month. So back it goes. All right, so now we're down to um, the little box here that I have. So maybe this wasn't as long as the rest of them. <laughs> There's a big difference though between 92 bags of things in 63. Okay, Whis whiskey sweet and palo. This is golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries and palo santo. So very similar to the whiskey sweet, but this one has palo and I love, I love her palo santo. Pumpkin eggnog, pumpkin pecan waffles blended with old fashioned eggnog. Pick this up in November. Couldn't say no to eggnog. Here we have more pine cones, pine cones and spice, but this one is with sugar cookies. This is roasted pine cones, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon buns, and sugar cookies. I have melted about half of the bag actually, so I did pretty good with that one. Mmm, mm. I did not have dinner. I did not have dinner and it's, let's see, 8.38. The uh, reason I did not have dinner was because I had Mexican food really late <laughs> in the afternoon. And so, yeah, I'm going to want something like late. I really screw myself when I do that. Okay, Luke's Diner Breakfast. Uh, didn't I have this one? I feel like I've had this one. Uh, so, but I don't think I did. No, it was Luke's Diner or something else. It was Luke's. You're yelling at the screen right now. But anyway, it was a different Luke's, Luke's Diner breakfast. This one has blueberry cheesecake blended with pumpkin, pecan, waffles, cinnamon, white cake, and fresh toast with maple syrup. The other one had like cranberry marmalade or something. So that one, this one I haven't used at all. Oh, that smells good. Wow, that smells good. Here's Palo Santo and Marshmallow Fireside plus apple. So this has the addition of apple in it. Uh, and I bought a big bag. And I don't know why, because apple is not a scent that I necessarily love. But it smells pretty good. I mean, I almost feel like she can mix her Palo Santo with anything, and I'm going to love it. That's how much I love it. Okay, cranberry and fireside marshmallow. This is cranberries, cranberry woods, sweet and smoky marshmallows. And this one I got in November. So I placed a pretty big order in November, it looks like. This one's from November as well. Soft cashmere and fig. This was another wild card for me because I do love fig. I do love cashmere, like a cashmere cream scent. Um, and I have, I'd never tried Beth. So this one is luminous. Not luminous. I can't even read with my glasses on. Luxurious, luxurious fig, <laughs> ginger, plum, and woodsy musk blended with soft cashmere, warm amber, and spun, spun sugar. This is why I don't, I say I shouldn't record at night and then I still do it because like, when else am I gonna do it? Mm. Oh, this is pretty. I feel like it's even gotten better. Wow. So as far as cure time goes, I know, and I love that Beth does this. She sends an invoice and she'll put on there, like, you know, melt after such and such date. And usually the date is only, it's not even a month. It's like a few weeks later, but I'm telling you, curing 
curing is a thing. It's for real. And those from November, I feel like they've they've already evolved. They've they've blended even better. Um, and today is March twenty March. Wow. <laughs> it's February twenty second. February twenty second. I have March on the brain because I was just telling some friends all the stuff I have going on in March, and my life's about to get crazy. Um, but anyway, what? So that's December, January, February, March. So that's four months for a lot of these. Uh, this one's also from November. And uh, so let it cure. I'd say give it three to four months. Um, if you if you find that it's maybe not as strong as you'd like, give it three or four months. Um, this is, I'd heard so much about this one. G's PB and J. I'm not a peanut butter person, but so many people raved about this one. I'm like, I have to try it. This is my little guy loves a PB and J peanut butter cookies, raspberry jam, sweet blackberries, marshmallow fluff, fresh baked bread, and a hint of funnel cake. So that's G's PB and J. And I do remember when I smelled this, I was worried about the peanut butter because I'm not a peanut butter person, but It smells good. It, I mean, I haven't warmed it. I might not feel the same when I warm it, but I'm telling you on cold, I don't get a whole, I really don't get a lot of peanut butter. I'm getting just a bunch of other sweet, yummy goodness. So that is G's PB and J. Okay. <laughs> I hate bra straps. Fall. Oh, okay. All right, so next we have Rory. This is from June of 23. This is soft pink chiffon blended with cashmere, musk, and sweet strawberry pound cake. Rory. I remember watching uh, somebody, who was it? Mm, who said, get this. It might have been Brittany. Mm, but that is good. It's It's strong. This one's a strong one. So it's got a hint of this perfuminess with the musk, but then that strawberry pound cake makes it this, also this sweetness, really nice. The great out, or not the, just great outdoors. This is Palo Santo Cedar Musk and Lavender. Got this in November. I went nuts in November. I bet you my stash would have been perfectly fine had I not gone in and bought a bunch of scents in November. But the Great Outdoors, I like this one a lot too. Um, I am just sometimes want a fresh, this fresh scent. I'm like dying up here now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dessert, <laughs> dessert sushi. Uh, this is all things jelly glazed donuts, glazed donuts, Rich white cake, marshmallow fluff, boardwalk taffy, and candy corn buttercream. Too much, not for a Gilmore. Dessert sushi. Also from the Gilmore. A lot of these are from the Gilmore collection. It was a great collection. Uh, strawberries at Deuce's Market. This is salty pretzels blended with sweet white cake, strawberry, pound cake, and zucchini bread. Got this also in, guess when? November. Uh, this one I've heard, I'm not warm this one, but I've heard it's really strong, like performs really well. Glasses on and off, okay. Mm. Yeah, this is good. I mean, they're all good. They wouldn't be here. They wouldn't be in my stash. I didn't love it. Um, Sookie's Kitchen from June of last year. I'm looking at these and I'm like, why? Why haven't I worn these? Um, sweet strawberries, blueberry muffins, marshmallows, and fresh baked bread. Okay, let me smell this one because recently in this past few videos, I said I've I've fallen out of love with blueberry muffin. It's it's the muffin I don't love. So I get some of that muffin. Um, so I think this one's okay for me because I am getting some of that muffin, but it's not, it's blended with other things. So I think it'll be fine. It's not overtaking this scent, but yeah, I came to the realization that I like blueberries, just not blueberry muffin. 
This is Donut Shop in Palo Santo. This is from March of last year. This was summer. Summer turned, I think, everyone on to this. And yes, I love this one. I've purchased this several times. This one is Marion Bright, I think. No, I did not talk about this yet, but I got this in December. No, Heather sent this to me. Heather Riddle sent these to me in that package. Uh, Mary and Bright, this is warm notes of orange, cinnamon, clove, and a hint of nutmeg. So that, I need to put initials so I remember. Bonfire by the Sea, this is salty ocean air blended with smoky, earthy cedar and pine. I want to say that Stephanie from the Scented Gemini loves this one and talked this one up. And when I saw it, I had to get it. This is from November. Oh, it's good. Oh, this is good. If you like salty sea air stuff, and then you have that beach nights, it's really, really good. I would say that earthy cedar gives it a slight, slight masculine edge, just a little bit, but it's, it's good. It's very good. And I'm also very picky with salty sea air. I've had blends where it's just too much. It's like too salty, but this is blended perfectly. And then last one, here we are, we made it. Apple pie and frosting. This is sweet apple pie and vanilla buttercream. Got this in November. I went crazy in November. So that is the last one. I'm gonna take a sniff. This, this definitely felt like it went faster. Maybe not my best, <laughs> best video, but faster. Definitely, it's a baked apple with hints of cinnamon. And then you get some of that buttercream. That's a good one. So as I'm going through these, I feel like there's so many I want to warm. I'm really tempted to do a whole month of a vendor. Because I do feel that for whatever reason, I, I've been focusing so much on Rose Girls and Sassy Girl Aroma and then some Teddy Bees and Scentsy that I haven't, I'll put one or two bags in my melting basket for the month of um, lavender and speckles, but I might, might change that up, but I just have so much of the other ones <laughs> that I'm trying, I'm trying to enjoy it. But, and the reason I don't do like a vendor a month, like just, you know, like let's just do a whole whole month of lavender and speckles because I need options. I, I just, I, I have to have options. And even though I have a lot of different blends in here, you know, I have beach nights and I have bakery and I have some outdoor scents, uh, some bedroom scents. I just, I, I don't like to feel constrained and the melting baskets that I create every month work for me because I have a nice mix of different vendor. I mean, different vendors, all kinds of scents and stuff. And sometimes I'd go overboard and filling those baskets and sometimes they're multiple, but, um, but maybe by the time you watch this, I may have already posted my March melting basket, most likely. So who knows what I ended up doing? You only, you know, by the time you're watching this video, uh, I do like to, when I can um, film, like film as much as I can, and then I'll just space them out. So that's why I don't know when this is going to go up. I don't know what I've already posted, but I hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you have lavender and speckles, what am I missing? I've heard so much about strawberry musk, strawberry musk, I think. I feel like I need to try that at some point when I work my way through this. Uh, but that is one blend that I've definitely want to try. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's any others, but let me know if you have a favorite that I didn't talk about. All right. Thank you so much. If you enjoy this, consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.